Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is a solo run of the new six player activity that came in with Destiny 2 Witch Queen, which is called Wellspring. Now, I've done this one entirely by accident. I loaded in to get a couple of runs of the Wellspring done and I was on my own. So I ended up finishing it, went back in to see if I'd load in with other people for, for a couple of quick runs and I didn't. So I came out, set myself up for a solo run and went in. And this is what I used. So we're going to be on... Word of Dawn, I am on the Titan. Usual kind of stuff here. I've got Bastion and Offensive Bulwark on. I have Echo of Undermining, Leeching and Remnants. And that, that is the artifacts that I'm using. And the fragments. Weapon wise, you can you can kind of mix, mix and match. I'm not suggesting you guys try this, but if you did want to try it, then this is what I used. I used the Time Loss Fate Bringer so I could get the Explosive Payload Firefly. Firefly is good, obviously, for sharing damage, but it, it's almost like having Outlaw as well, or a version of Outlaw on as well, so I get the faster reload on crit kills. The Glaive, what's that you say? It's very good. Uh, and Galahorn. We'll, we'll talk a, a bit more about the armor after I show you the initial setup because I change it at the boss. So. Suppressing Glaive and Energy Vampirism, they, they synergize very well together. So the Glaive basically suppresses every ad it hits. And Energy Vampirism is uh, any any anytime you kill a suppressed enemy, uh, or anytime you suppress a target. And the Glaive will one hit kill most red red uh, ads with, with the melee side of it. But it still counts that you suppressed it. So if you throw your grenade and then you melee a couple of ads, you're going to get your grenade back. It's very, very good. Uh, rocket launcher, scavenger, glaive, scavenger. Uh, I went with solar damage resist and void damage resist uh, initially until we get to the actual boss section and elemental ordnance. Uh, glaive Dexterity, Impact Induction, so basically when I do damage with my melee I get Grenade Energy and the usual uh, Rocket Launch Ammo Finder and I went with Dynamo so it reduces my the cooldown of my super when I use my class ability near adds, which I'm going to be doing. But when we get to the boss, we're going to change to this. So we're going to be we're going to be going with this, so no Void... Uh, damage resist but we do have concussive dampener on which really helps i've got seeking wells on so basically when i create elemental wells if they're not right on me they'll come towards me now i have to tell you guys that during the run i didn't have this mod on i don't know why i took it off but this was the one i wanted on uh bountiful wells so if you stack stuff like melee wellmaker as you can see, I've got three of them on. When I get a melee kill, I'll produce three wells. Why is that important? Well, as you can see, with the melee, I've went with Shield Bash. And I'll be changing to Peregrine Greaves. Because these things are crazy. They are so strong. So, as you'll see here, when I put my, my overshield down, right? It's a... Uh, it gives me an over when when I put my class ability down, when I put my wall down, when I put my uh, barricade down, I get an overshield. Offensive bulwark. While you have an overshield, your grenades charge faster and you have increased melee damage. So you pair those two together, or even just offensive bulwark, Bastion gives you your overshield. Peregrine Greaves do more damage. If you shoulder charge while you're in the air. How much more damage are, are we talking about? Well, in a 1580 activity, which this isn't a 1580 activity, but on a 1580 activity, if you break, if you do damage to a barrier champion, break the shield and run up to the, run up to the champion. This is a master. Shoulder charge while you're in the air when you've got an overshield. You will one hit any champion. And that's on master. And that's if you're under leveled. It's crazy powerful. You will see at the boss when I change this. I'll set the boss up for the shoulder charge a few times. And the, the reason why is. 
my shoulder charge do, is doing just about the same amount of damage that the Galahorn is doing. That it's it's maybe even a bit more. So that that's the run. I'm not going to commentate the run because this isn't so much of a guide. This is just a cool thing for you guys to watch. I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, if you do, a like is always appreciated. I'm going to have my daily story mission up uh, maybe about an hour after this. i done it the other day and I haven't been well and things have been happening. So I, I got my Nightfall video out and then I had plans to make three more videos and then stuff happened. And So this is a cool little thing that I'm putting out. I hope you guys enjoy it. Take care of yourselves. I hope you're still enjoying Witch Queen. I hope you're staying safe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Scorn are here. They're trying to break through. We better hold the line. Here we go. Scorn incoming. Scored ahead. This is far from over.
Powerful scorn incoming. him.
Gordon's at Delta. Until next time. Good work, Guardian.